Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so I came up with another interesting project on React.js. So the project name is uh, password generator. So this is a, a random password generator depend on the options what you have given. Okay. So here, uh, this is like a form. Okay. So we need to submit a form details and click on generate. So it will generate the password. So here, this field contains the generated password, the password which is already generated, which will display here. So, and also we have a lot of options. Uh, what is the length for your password? Okay, and it allows symbols, numbers, lowercase characters, and uppercase characters. So, for example, to make a demo of this application, so I select symbols, only symbols, and click on generate. See what happened automatically, you get all the symbols and that too the length is 20 okay so if i select uh, if i keep pressing this button you keep generating some random symbols for you if i click on numbers see numbers plus symbols if i click on lowercase characters so lowercase characters numbers and symbols if i click on uppercase character so uppercase and symbols so mostly people use this to uh, lowercase and uppercase and when i click on generate so it's keep generating some lowercase and uppercase combination of strings okay so this will be your generated password by this application so this is completely made in react.js so now let's start jumping into developing of this application so now we can create react.js project using the command called npx create react app and your application name okay so for me application name is password generator okay so this is my application name so i have to uh, create a project in some other location i go inside some temp folder so i copy the path i open a command line and i'll say cd space and i colon yep here let's space the command okay it is using uh, react with javascript i'm not using any typescript here just javascript based uh, react js enter so this will take uh, a few minutes to create a project and then we'll see so project has created so let me load this project and second so where is this stem and uh, password generator yeah so let me load this project to editor okay so once you have loaded you need to install uh, bootstrap because I just made uh, uh, this setup using bootstrap so you need to install npm install bootstrap and also at fort awesome I forgot it once again uh, that is at uh, fort awesome npm yep so you have to install uh, uh, for font awesome icon because I'm using icons out there so let's paste it here. Yep. So let's make only bootstrap. So no axios and all required, no router required because we just have only these two. It's just a simple form. So this is required. So let me install it in my editor's terminal. I'll paste it, enter. Okay. It will install. Meanwhile, I need to add a font or some CDN link. So let's say CD and JS font awesome. Okay, so let's copy the link. So where you have to add this link is in your public index.html. The space somewhere, anywhere, doesn't matter. Okay, that's fine yeah after that you have to configure a uh, bootstrap so where you have to configure a bootstrap is in your index.js so let's add uh, so font awesome icon css let's say import so i need to get it from node module so index.js is in src so you must have to say dot slash node modules slash at uh, fort awesome slash font awesome slash css slash all dot css that's one thing 
and to, to add a bootstrap so bootstrap CSS and uh, JS files so let's say import again uh, here dollar slash dot dot slash node modules slash bootstrap slash this slash CSS slash bootstrap dot CSS and the same way I need to have JS slash uh, bootstrap bundle dot JS okay so this is a very simple uh, uh, configuration okay uh, done so now let me start the application so let's say npm start so now it is starting so I got application Mm, come on yeah it's been started yeah so you get the basic page like this uh, I go to app.js and clear the things now uh, I go to um, here app.js I don't need anything here header and all not required just delete and uh, I don't need logo and uh, let's make this as looks like simple react so import react from react now uh, I just make this is react dot fragment and no class okay and you can also make this is simple uh, uh, arrow function okay so now react this application react component uh, let's say h2 app component yeah it's ready so to confirm bootstrap I'll just make a button with the class uh, uh, btn yeah I'm getting the hint btn minus success let's say hello yeah I can able to get the bootstrap and also let's add an icon with the class uh, home icon yes I'm getting the icon as well so that's fine so we have successfully connected uh, bootstrap and icon so for this I have to create a component so I go to src new uh, new javascript or else you can create a folder called components and I also create one more folder called services okay so components I create one component that is uh, um, password generator dot uh, jsx yeah it's created so let's make a basic snippet import react from react and let's say let password generator is equal to a function so this will return something that is react dot fragment let's say h2 password generator and I'll say export default password generator okay this is the I mean the snippet of the component and let me connect with the app to say password generator I have configured so you get the password generator so now it's time to design the password generator so to design this I have it here okay so it's a card with the card body and all so what I do is here I'll write one container one row single column d just four in that one card and card header and also we have a card body okay so let's make some margin top five okay so card uh, with some shadow lg and here let's say bg warning and text uh, by default dark only let's say here p dot h3 um, password generator let's make some h h4 and h5 and also let's add some padding just say p, p3 okay so in the card body also I write like bg warning 
yeah in that you need to write a form so let's add a form in that uh, I have a dot margin bottom two. in that I have a division with the input group it's an input group okay input group in that uh, what you have your password and input box and this one so you can make it like uh, a span tag with a class uh, input group text let's say password so how it works yeah it is like this under that I have input type equal to text class is uh, form control and uh, placeholder something called uh, generated password and also at the end I have one more span tag with a class is uh, input group text so here we have an icon with a class called uh, uh, fa minus fa minus um, something called clipboard or something yep okay so it is like this and under that you have uh, 20 and the length so this is one thing under that one more margin bottom to uh, input field so can I make this input field out here um, this must be a number okay form control and there's no placeholder just a length to be display out there or just a placeholder let's say password length okay and um, yeah we have one more span tag with the class input group text let's say password length oh it's not visible uh, I made a mistake it's around with input group with the classes input group in that you make it it adjusts okay so after that after that you have uh, symbols numbers and lowercase uppercase letters so here uh, and one more uh, margin bottom two uh, here you have uh, division with a class again of uh, input group uh, in this I have uh, input um, or else you do one thing um, I write a span tag do we have uh, one second this is okay got it so this is span tag with the class uh, input group text in that I have input type equal to checkbox class name form check input so what happens yeah it is like this and uh, let's say text white or just say bg white okay and also I have uh, one more input type equal to text placeholder placeholder is uh, symbols symbols with a class is form control okay and let's make this is disable disable this true okay this will be disabled you can't enter anything just a simple name okay you can make a check okay that's fine and same like this we have multiple let's copy this paste so this will be um, symbols numbers and uh, one more this will be so lowercase letters and one more this is upper case letters yeah that's fine and finally you have a submit button so let's make here dot mb2 input 
type equal to submit and uh, value goes to generate and the class is it's a button so btn 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 minus outline dark okay generate okay so that's all and uh, margin top two no okay let's leave it yeah fine so you got the design and now let's start with the uh, actual so we made this and let's make a state and which connect to all the forms elements so what I do is back here so let's say let uh, something is equal to use state I'll be using use state hook um, in that I'll just say uh, state and the set state okay so in this I have a uh, you know password or directly you can take the state what's a big deal uh, what are all the fields you have uh, you have generated password and uh, password length so password length by default I'll take 20 and you want you can change it later and uh, let's say symbols false uh, it is just a checkbox it makes true and false okay so symbols and uh, numbers is also false and uh, uh, lower false and upper false okay all are false okay and let's also make a, a function to update my form so let update input is equal to a function here you get the event so what I do is uh, set state where dot 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 existing state and I'll make event dot target dot name uh, its value is event dot target dot value okay so this uh, event dot target dot value can only work with these two fields okay but for checkboxes it's not a value it is checked okay if it is checked it updates the value as checked so you can make here so let's create another function only for checkboxes so update check okay just make it is checked okay two separate functions okay and let me bind this fields by passing on this function is here uh, I go to input field first for generate a password so generate password what I do the say value will be uh, state dot generated password okay and uh, uh, there is no on change uh, if you wish you can add on change is equal to uh, what is that update uh, input that's it simple and next uh, for here for this input for password length value is password length and update input so by default this become 20 and for symbols for symbols of checkboxes let's say value is uh, it is symbols and this is uh, actually there is no value because checkboxes there is no value only on change update check okay and uh, I forgot to give the names also because it is updating dynamic names um, so let's add names as well name is equal to generated password okay so here name is equal to password length and uh, here name is equal to uh, what is this uh, it's for symbol symbol okay exactly the same name which you have written here symbols not symbol just a symbol and this number symbol number okay like that um, password length symbol okay so let's copy and this guy is mm, number and this one 
lower and this is for upper okay so we have binder form data uh, if you want to check how the form data looks like how it is getting you know updated pre tag expression i'll say um, state or like this json dot stringify of state okay yeah so you can check generated password is updated number is updated uh, symbol is true and false number true and false lowercase no and false uppercase true and false okay that's all fine and uh, finally finally i'll make uh, this fields to be required because without that you can't submit the form data so it's required true so let's make all this only length will be required but not for checkboxes because you have option you, you may check the checkbox you can't check the checkbox okay but only the length should be there okay fine now um okay so let's also make a function for submit form and later we'll uh, talk about the logic so submit form uh, i'll say here on submit is equal to okay let's say generate let's say submit okay so let's create the submit function so let submit is equal to a function uh, here mm, i just say here event so let's say event dot prevent default okay and just make console dot log of uh, state object okay if you submit the form you get the state okay so this part is done we have done with the state uh, i mean state uh, with uh, you know to build a binding and we also have a submit function now it's time to write a logic for generating this so uh, to generate password so you have to know uh, a basic thing here uh, what is that is so to generate the password based on random numbers random lowercase characters so what is actually logic for this story is i'll depend on as a table so you can just go to google and search for as a values so you get official website for as a table uh, here if you closely observe for every character uh, you have some character code number okay so it is 97 98 so small a the lowercase a starts from see i'll tell you the logic a a starts from 97 number okay and from there total how many numbers is 26 characters total of 26 characters okay and same way i want to have capital letter so that's number is uh, capital numbers starts from 65 and total 26 and uh, if you talk about the numbers see number starts from 48 so 0 the number starts from 48 and total how many 10 0 onwards 9 up to 9 is 10 okay so what my plan is uh, if you want to generate random lowercase characters what you have to do is you have to you know you have to get the numbers from 97 to 122 so how you get them randomly is there is a function so what is the function is i'll tell you here um for example i'll say um console.log okay let's say like this uh let's random um Okay, I write here. Let random lower is equal to they mm, say string. String is a built-in object. Okay, so string dot uh, from character code. So you just specify the character code. For example, if I say 97 as a code, just say console dot log of random lower. I made some okay 
so if i say random lower uh, for example you go and refresh and click on generate you see the inspect console so you get the a if i click on multiple times still you get the a only because it was given as a 97 so instead of 97 i'll give like this math math dot random inside uh, no 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 you do like this math dot uh, floor floor in that math dot random into how many characters are there 26 characters are there okay plus 97 from 97 to 26 characters if i make like this so you go check just keep it aside yeah keep this aside and keep here yeah so when i click on generate what happens see j next time when i click on okay let's see so when i click on t f c random lowercase characters are coming for me correct yep so same way i have to make a logic so how i do the logic is i can create a separate service so that is new javascript password service okay so export class password service here i'll make few functions so static get random lowercase okay get random lowercase so how we get random lowercase is written string dot from character code math dot floor in that math dot random into 26 plus 97 from 97 that's it and same like this if you want to get the random uppercase uppercase just 26 letters but number starts from 65 so let's make a 65 and same way get random numbers if you want to get the numbers uh, total is 10 and its number starts from 48 so 48 okay and also we have to get the symbols uh, symbols i'll make like this get random symbols random symbols so how we get random symbols is let uh, uh, symbol string is equal to i'll make some symbols here uh, what symbols i need uh, like all these symbols uh, slash okay so enough these symbols i need randomly so what i do return so symbol of i can make uh, again math dot flow math dot floor math dot random uh, into length of it let's say symbol string dot length so you get automatically randomly each one character okay this one this one this one this one okay so these functions are fine now what i have to do is i have to create exactly same number for example if you give the password length 20 uh, i'll tell you a scenario you given password length 20 and you have selected all the four options so what you have to do is see here you select symbol you select symbol number and lower and upper so you select four but i need total of 20 so what you have to do first four one symbol one number one lower one upper next one symbol one number one lower one upper like mix you have to do okay so how we can make that exactly is simple uh, what I do here is in my state apart from the checkbox content I also have this extra data I just need to select only the exact checks okay which is true okay for that I'll create a function let's say static get uh, password object okay so what it does is it will take your state 
this state whole state it will take okay so what is the responsibility of this function is it will take the whole state and it returns only the object which contains your selected values selected uh, you know property and it's if it is true okay because sometimes you only select these three so only those three should come in the string right so i have to make, make a filtering of the only selection so for that i i make this function i say let password object is equal to just empty yeah here i'll do one thing i'll make for let key of uh, object dot keys of state so i'm looping through the each and every uh, each and every key because you can loop through an object also using its keys okay so my condition here is if if type of type of state of key is is equal to boolean okay its value is boolean and and the state of key uh, you can say is equal to true or just keep key also it will be you know it check the condition for true or false so it must be boolean see i'm looking for these four values only it must be boolean it must be true then what i do is return an object where uh, or else uh, you do like this then password object is equal to an object where dot 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 existing password object fields and here i'll say the key value and state of the key state of the key and finally i return the password object simply i am filtering or picking up only the selected checkboxes values and which are true selected means true okay so this function returns me you want to check uh, on submit what i do is i'll say let password object is equal to um, or this password service password service dot get password object by passing my state object okay you can make just console dot log of password object just see how password objects comes over there okay see here now i keep side by side i refresh yeah so for example if i select only symbol and click on generate see what happen my object generates only symbol as your option so i select number see both number and this thing so i select all the four so four has come i remove the lower case see only symbol number upper case has come lower case has been removed i remove the symbol as well only number and upper only number and upper yes so my object is perfectly picking up the selected options here okay so depend on these options you have to get exactly the number of characters by mixing of these guys okay for that you have to write the actual function for generating password so what i do is static generate password okay so here you have to provide the your password object and your password length okay how much length of the password is also required okay so what this function does is let the password is equal to empty string okay so i have to loop through so for let i equal to 0 and i less than number of password dot length okay exactly the length and i plus is equal to because i have i have to increment the number based on the its length because see here if you select 4 so 4 plus 4 plus 4 so first to 4 all this will come next to 4 next to 4 like that if i select only 2 just 2 2 2 2 it should, it should be there right it should repeat so what i do is i plus is equal to object uh, dot keys of my password object dot length if you select 3 only 3 3 repeat if you select 4 4 4 repeats okay now if i loop through yeah so i'll make a condition if password object dot lower if password object contains lower as an option 
then what I do is the password plus is equal to okay just make no question mark just if right is equal to I write um, dollar this dot generate random lowercase that's it okay okay and finally it returns the password okay if it contains lower it adds some random lower same like that if it contains upper it adds some get random uppercase and if it is contains symbol symbol so get random symbols and if it contains number so get random number okay so this is the function which will you know depend on its uh, its length and its uh, keys because we generate a keys right so through keys it will add a random number and just generate a password so i have to call this function from my uh, submit so here i'll do is uh, let uh, the password is equal to uh, password service dot um, generate uh, password by passing on my password object and also the key the, the length where is the length state state dot password length I have to pass on ok you get the password and if you want to see the password just say console dot log of the password ok so see the password now back here I refresh and also keep this here yeah for example i want 20 letters by having symbols numbers lowercase uppercase generate see you get symbol uppercase sorry lowercase uppercase symbol number lowercase uppercase symbol number 44 four has come because uh, I, I you can change the order okay because first lower upper symbol number like that uh, if you want to check exactly 20 i copy this uh, here it is 20 uh, one thing you can do if you if you want exactly the number you do like this uh, dot substring of substring of 0 comma end number is password length password length ok because if, if something goes wrong also you get exactly 20 characters that way now refresh back uh, here ok I'll make uh, only numbers and symbols 20 characters so if I just make only lower and upper see so only lower and upper characters numbers also like that yeah, symbols also like that so keep generating the data Okay, let's keep generating your password. But I don't want the password on console. I want to have a password on my uh, the form. So that is just a state you have to update. So finally, what I do is instead of console log, I'll say set state, set state where dot 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 state uh, state and uh, generated password is the password. That's all. Okay. So it's finished now let's check it out refresh yeah so if i don't specify don't get anything if symbols numbers hmm, what happened i think it got stuck um, come on it's still loading okay uh, let me restart some problem with my editor yeah started okay let's check so i say 20 symbols and numbers generate only symbols and numbers 20 characters so lower and upper generate keep generating you get them if you only get now lower and upper you get them got it yep so this is a very simple password generator application or project 
using react Wave. thank you so much for joining me and please do subscribe to my channel for this kind of interesting projects